Welcome to BeatSource Tech. My name is Mojax and today we are returning to a piece of software which I've not looked at here on the channel since its very first iteration all the way back in 2019. We're looking today at version 2.0 of Serato Studio. I checked over my older episodes and unless I'm missing something, the last time I actually talked about Serato Studio was when it first launched, all the way back in 2019. And it was impressive then, but in the time since, a lot has changed. Right from the beginning, Studio was a very different take on a traditional DAW or digital audio workstation. Building on Serato's experience with earlier production focused tools like Pitch and Time and Sample, it offered a very fast and efficient workflow experience when putting together beats. I think the key to that was the utilization of pitch and time across the whole application. Anything you add to the project, whether that be a sample, instruments or even whole tracks, will automatically default to matching the project's key and tempo unless you decide you don't want it to. This means that assembling a disparate collection of sources into one beat is far more hassle-free than in most other DAWs, and you don't necessarily need a lot of music theory knowledge to create something which works harmonically. It's also very accessible for anyone coming from the DJ world, and of course especially users of Serato DJ Pro. The waveforms look similar and are generated on the fly, you utilise cue points in much the same way, and you can access your Serato DJ Pro music library in full. You can even use a whole bunch of your DJ hardware to control various aspects of the software, as well as things like keyboards, although I would still like to see full MIDI mapping at some point. When I first showed off version 1.0 four years ago, there were a few things missing which could potentially have limited the software's utility as a full DAW alternative for some users, all of which are now present and correct. You couldn't select which channels were being used for output on your audio interface, but you can now. There was no global mix of you for managing your levels across a whole project, but there is now. And perhaps most notably, there was no option for recording audio directly into studio, but with version 1.6 in 2021, Serato brought a comp comprehensive recording solution to the software, so you can now record in vocals, instruments and sample from sources like vinyl with the same amount of control you have over digital samples. I'll quickly list some of the other notable new features which have been added up to the last version 1.75. MIDI note velocity mapping, sidechain compression, you can loop sections of the song view, beat grid editing, genre templates, Bluetooth support, auto chord mode, quantized cue points, auto fill mode for drum fills, MIDI pattern import, video file support and access to your Serato video crates, drum deck keyboard mode, pan controls, support for 16 pads, curve line automation and automation can be a apply to whole tracks in song view and let's not forget that the company have continued to roll out new royalty free sound packs at no cost to users with over 40 now available to download. That's all great stuff and it shows just how mature Serato Studio has grown since 2019. But why are we talking about it again today with the launch of 2.0? Well, of course, it's stems. As soon as Serato added stems functionality to their DJ software, it seemed inevitable that the tech would also make its way to Serato Studio. And so here we are, using the same custom developed AI separation technology, which I'm a huge fan of in Serato DJ Pro, Studio now allows you to work with stems for your productions and remixes too. Whether you want to isolate the vocals from a track to create a remix with it, or do something like remove the drums from a loop which you don't want to have clashing with your own percussion, the options are almost endless. And because you can have multiple instances of a track or sample, it means you can also have different elements on different tracks and say, add effects to the vocal but not the bass. So it works just as well as stems in Serato DJ Pro, but is even more powerful as you aren't restricted to just two or four decks. As I always must caveat when talking about stems, no, the tech isn't magic and not every track will give you perfect results for every element, but Serato's processing is incredibly powerful and you should get a usable sound most of the time. There are two versions of Serato Studio you can download. The first is completely free and lets you use the software with a limited feature set with no time restrictions, you can use it forever. And that does include stems, so you aren't missing out on those. But if you want the full set of pro features, then you have two choices. You can buy a license outright for $249 US dollars or subscribe for $9.99 a month. If I remember correctly, at launch, subscription was the only option. So I'm glad to see that you can now choose to buy the software in full if you prefer. Either way, version two is out now, so whether whether you're an existing user or new to Serato Studio, you can get it downloaded and try it out for yourself today. So there you go, a look at Serato Studio version 2.0. It's really impressive to me how they keep evolving this platform. All of the new elements they've added in over recent years have been great. And now they've just leveled it up once again with stems in there. And they just work in such a fantastic, intuitive way. 
like everything else in Serato Studio. You know, that software really is all about an easy, smooth workflow so you can start getting ideas down very quickly and start building things up with zero fuss. And it's all about that pitch and time algorithm kind of tying all of the elements together and doing that heavy lifting for you. So if you're an experienced user of Serato Studio, of course, yeah, jump on this new version because the new edition of Stems is fantastic. But if you're new to the world of remixing and production, then I would say now is a great time to try Serato Studio for yourself. After all, it is free. Yeah, that free version is a little bit more limited compared to the full one, but it's not time restricted. You can use it as long as you like, and I think you'll find yourself getting great results very quickly. In the comments this week, I'd love to hear from you about your DAW of choice. Are you a Serato Studio convert? Are you sticking to something you've been using for like 20 odd years? Maybe you've been a Pro Tools user since the early 2000s. I don't know. Let us know what you're using because we don't talk about production that much on this series. So I'd love to hear from you guys and girls about what's working for you. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.